click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hello everyone! In this video, you will learn how to create a survey using Google Forms. So let's get started with this video. All you need to do is go to Google and search for Google Forms. Google Forms is a free-to-use application that you can use to create various types of forms on the Internet. As you can see here, this is the official website of Google Forms. Here, you simply need to click on Go to Forms button on the top. Before starting, make sure you have a Google account to get started with creating Google Forms. Here on the screen, you can see a few options on the top like blank forms, a party invite form, a contact information form, etc. These are some templates from which you can choose any. In case you don't need the pre-made form templates, you can also select the blank form and start creating your form from scratch. So let's get started with selecting a blank template. Now this is the Google Form dashboard, or you can say the editor area of the Google Forms. You can see three tabs here. Under the Questions tab, you can edit or add the questions to your form. Under the Responses tab, you will be able to see all the responses of the people who will fill the form, and under the Settings tab, you can access all the settings related to your form. I will discuss more about these tabs later in the video. As of now, let's start with creating our survey first. Now, here you can give your survey an eye-catching title, as this will be displayed to the users. I'm adding the title name as Course Survey. You can also add a brief description of your form here. Once done, let's move to the next section. Here, we will add some questions to our survey. So let's start with the first question. For example, email. I want users to enter their email addresses. So for that, I will simply enter the title of the question as an email. You can customize the question as per your requirement. Now, from here, you have to select any option for how your question will be answered. Various options are available here, if you want the field to contain the short answer, or the paragraph which will give the recipient a blank field to fill in. You can also select multiple choice or a checkbox, etc., depending on the question. So email IDs is going to be a short answer. Therefore, I will select the short answer field from the list. Now you can make the field required by toggling this button over here. Now from this menu, you can click on this plus icon to add another question. I want to ask the users to enter their date of birth, so I will simply enter the date of birth here. Now, when done, you can see that Google automatically selects the field, but in case it doesn't, you can select it yourself. You can make this field required if you want, I'm keeping this field optional as of now. I'm adding another question to my survey, which says, will you refer our course to other students? The answer to this question can be in two options with yes or no. So we need to add the field accordingly. Here you can see two options, which I can use for this question. One is multiple field and the other is checkboxes. If you select multiple choice field, then the user filling up the form will only be able to select a single option, while selecting the checkboxes allow the user to select all or multiple options at once. So in this case, I will select the multiple choice field as I want the user to select a single option. Here, I will add two options. One is yes and the other will be no. You can also see here, Google keeps suggesting you the options as well. Either you can use those or create options yourself as well. I will make this question a required one. Now, time to add another question. My next question is, in what quality do you watch our course? You can add any of the three fields here as per your question's requirement. It can be a multiple choice, a checkboxes, or a drop-down field. 
I will select the drop-down field for this question because I want users to select one of the given options from the drop-down list. So let me add a few video quality options here. That's it. Now, what if I want to divide this form into parts, as it will be easy for the users to submit the form in parts? To do so, I will use this option from the menu, which says Add Section. Once clicked, you can see the form has been divided into two sections. Now, user will be able to see this next section only after completing the first one. To get started with the second section, I will add the title name here. Description here is optional. It's up to you if you want to add it or not. I will click on this plus icon again to add questions to my second section. My next question will be, does this course help you achieve your goals? I will make this a checkbox field where user can select multiple options. Let me add the options here. First will be sometimes. Second will be always. Third is rarely. Now, audience can select the multiple or all the options here. What if you want to add a rating scale? To do so, let me add another question, which says, on the scale of one to five, how satisfied are you from the course? You can see that Google has automatically selected a linear scale field for this question. So I will go with the Google and keep it linear scale only. You can edit the range of the scale here as per your requirement. You can also add the labels here, which explains your scale, like one being the not satisfied and five being the fully satisfied. So these labels will guide the audience to scale their satisfaction level for the course. Google Forms also gives you an option to add a tabular field if you want. Let me show you with an example. I'm adding one more question here, which says, please rate our course module individually. You can see that Google has automatically selected multiple choice grid option. You can also select this option yourself from the list if not automatically selected by Google. The multiple choice grid will create grid-like format. I'm adding the rows here, specifying the modules. I want users to rate the course from the scale of 1 to 5, so I will add the columns like these. Now let me add the last question to my survey, which says, do you have any additional comments? I will select the paragraph field for this, because answers to this question may cover two or three lines. You can make any of these fields mandatory by toggling the required switch. So that was all about how you can add the questions to your form. Now let me show you the preview of the form. This is how the form appears as of now. When someone clicks on the next button, second section of the form will appear. But before that, they have to fill all the mandatory fields. But what if I want to make it more attractive? So this is the time where I will talk about how to set the theme or change the colors of your form. So what you need to do is click on this color palette and select the theme color here as per your choice. You can also add an image to your header. That can be the cover image of your course as well. So let me select the image. You can also use any of these given images, or else you can upload one from your system as well. So let me search for a relative image. I will select this image here. Once done, click on the Insert button. You can see the image has been added here on the top. You can again change the color from here as per your choice. Let's preview the form to see how it appears to the audience. So you can see here the form looks amazing. 
Moving to another part of this video, let me show you the settings that Google Form offers. So click on Settings. You can toggle the switch beside this option if you want to make this form a quiz. I won't be doing that as of now. Next is Responses Settings, where you can collect the email address of the people by toggling this option. You can also send responders a copy of their response and select the options accordingly. You can also allow the responders to edit the responses. It's all up to you. I will suggest you to always toggle this button on to limit one response, as this will ensure there is no spam or manipulative responses being submitted again and again. Under Presentation, you can explore settings related to presentation of the form, like you can show the progress bar, shuffle question order, or you can also explore these settings on your own. I will like to recommend to toggle this View Results Summary option because when you do that, responders will be able to see the survey results at a particular point of time. You can see some additional default settings here, which are self-explanatory. Here, you can change the form title again if you wish to. After everything is in place, you simply click on the Send button to send it to the audience. You can enter the email address here and send this form to their email IDs. You can also copy the form link from here and share it to your audience. You can also embed this form anywhere on your website by simply clicking on this button over here and just embedding this URL. As I've already copied the link, let me see how this form will appear. I'm pasting my survey link here. As you can see, it's asking me to sign into my Google account first. So let me sign in to continue with the process. Let me enter the login credentials. Once done, I can now fill in all of this information and submit this form. Let me fill the form and show you how we will be able to see the responses. Let me answer all the questions here. Once done, click on Submit. We need to solve this to make sure we are not doing any spam. You can now see the success message here. Responders can also click on the See Previous Responses to look for the same. Now, how will the administrator be able to view all of the responses? For that, let me shift back to the account through which I created the form. Here you can click on the responses. You can see all the details here, which says who has responded with all their details, like their unique email address and all the answers that the responders submitted. You can also see all the answers question-wise as well. Simply select the question here and all the answers to that question will appear here. You can also view the responses individually. Simply select the email address of the responder from here, whose response you want to check. Here, a drop-down list will be added once you have multiple responses, and then you can click on any of those to view the responses of that particular person. So that's it! This was all about how you can use Google Forms to create surveys for yourself or for your business. Thank you for watching this video!